get attacked if she's not going to get attacked, right? Like, I need good odds, but I don't want to get no breath weapon bullshit. You know? <laughs> yeah, fucking losers doing breath weapons. Yeah, I don't get hit. Hey, well, I was doing it first, and then, and then the main yeah, side copied me. <laughs> you keep doing that. Yeah, when Vince uh, did it, it was cool. Manny was just copying me. Yeah. Yeah, even though Thunder's breath weapon is like infinitely better than mine, it's like <laughs> three times the range, like three times the damage. It's all about how it looks, dude. You know what I mean? Exactly. Yeah. No, but see, dude, dude Thunder even transforms into a dragon, man. Like he. Yeah, but he's not doing. You know, where's the flame action at, dude? <laughs> Why isn't he summoning the? The, the lava elementals every turn. <laughs> oh, I'm going to be so distracted with the election. That's okay. I'll do my best. Be how's it, how's it looking? Than I, would watching a Mavs game I mean, <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't want to like, I don't know how people take sides, but like Florida's already over, which is pretty crazy. I, are you watching on YouTube or something? Uh, no, I mean, I'm, a A B C up. Oh, they just called they just called a state. What'd they just call? Oh, Alabama. Alabama zero per zero percent of the vote reporting they already call Alabama. <laughs> and Mississippi, dude. It was like, no, nah, these exit polls are what we thought yeah, they'd dude, be. Dude, yeah, they started looking at the numbers and they're like, Yeah, no, we're just gonna call this. <laughs> oh, Oklahoma too, that's funny. Tennessee in comes the flood but no yeah florida being over this fast is really really alarming they're gonna call it any minute um that's generally one of those states that they will that that's what makes the election last longer like we could see a result at 2 a.m tonight if it keeps going yeah, this you, way i'm not saying have, it will they have, they'd have to gotta get yeah see pennsylvania's already no but they only Pittsburgh when they do yeah when they do Pennsylvania they always do Pittsburgh first it's just like, like Texas has only Dallas in right now yeah well, like North Carolina stuff, but... North Carolina already has Charlotte and Raleigh in like yeah but Trump's what he just hit 95 yeah, Sorry, David. Distracted. We won't be too distracted with the election tonight. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's uh, listen. I'm I'm right there with you. That's Barely why we're wrapping up this wrapping up this combat, and then I'm going back. Um, yeah. Also, I just realized Manny's playing tonight, right? Uh, we didn't go through all this hoopla for. Yeah, I oh, don't know. Think. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> he no, never he didn't say he wasn't. So. <laughs> no, Manny. He never said he wasn't. He no. never said. I mean, it's a good distraction, especially if it's like an hour, hour and a half. That's like perfect. Oh, we can take him. <laughs> I mean, if y'all, oh. if y'all want to wrap it up without him, I'm not gonna. I I mean, I think we established a while ago that we he will continue on if Manny's the one that's <laughs> he like, was, kind he of was like... an exception. <laughs> um, let me. Uh, I will. I'll, I'll send a message though, just to make sure. Although he's not on Discord, so that's that's not nothing. Message. Yeah. Are you able to? Hey, tonight. Let us see. Um, yeah. If yeah, he, that's uh, if he is not able to, do y'all want to play without him or no? I'll, I'll leave that up to y'all. Uh, if you think we can do the... Oh? Never mind, he just showed up. Yeah, just get in there. We got right. him. There he is. I, uh, I totally forgot to say it was Tuesday. Hey, it's okay. <laughs> it's Tuesday. Because, like, totally normally, did we get, did we say if we're, everyone was good in the text? Yeah. It, yeah. it was a little more extended. It was like a conversation of sorts. So, I, I wasn't, it wasn't a quick look, you know? Normally, oh, it's like okay, a quick okay. look. 
Uh, no, like, no worries, no worries. I was like, oh shit. I was like, oh, Jacob's hitting me up. <laughs> it's, a, it's a good day. <laughs> oh, it's, oh, I'm having a great. I'm having a great time today. Um, <laughs> how's your dinner? Um, yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna run the combat tonight, Manny. Um, Andrew isn't here tonight, so we're just gonna run the combat until it's finished, mm-hmm. and then we're gonna break. So, um, so we'll just see how long it takes us, and then I just hate these call up big whenever it finishes. Scenes. Um, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. So for last time, walk me through a little bit. I mean, I know it was just combat, but um, give me some combat details of what what went down. Oh man! Oh oh, we uh, we rang the bell right, and we fought Papa Zottle's statues. We fought the statues without Papa Zottle. True. Uh, that- yeah, yeah. You fought the the statues, and um, you rang the bell to leave the ethereal plane to not have to deal with Papa Zottle, which was very clever, might I add. I actually didn't even really consider that until y'all did it. So that was oh, that yeah. was impressive. Yeah. Um, but when you came back to yeah. the ethereal plane to deal with Papa Zottle, <laughs> what did you find? He had shadow clones. <laughs> <Papa Zottle. laughs> Papa's Zottle. Papa's um, Zottle. Became a franchise. <laughs> Papa Zottle's. <laughs> <laughs> and so pizza. you found that the trickster god lived up to his name, and um, and what? How did the combat session last time end? What what did you discover? Um, we uh, Halbjorn definitely spotted the real one and yelled yeah. out. Yeah, uh, that's right. Y'all, and they're, uh, like, swooping in, swooping out like assholes. Yeah, Aslo's they're also really a annoying. Well, oh yeah, what was Aslos's moment? Oh yeah, had a uh, spectral bear appear that I can just see right now, and he's uh, kind of just mm-hmm. providing some guidance over it. Kind of walked over to him, and nothing happened. So, yeah, he's just kind of watching you, huh? Mm-hmm. And yeah. he kind of well, he told me to he's... fight, like. Yeah, kind of like almost, uh, and I think that the vibe you would get is like a kind of like a, um, like almost like a prove yourself kind of thing, you know, like, All right. do your, do your thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, anything else that anyone wants to add before we hop in? I okay. was being told to throw a bow, but then I was told not to throw the bow. Yeah, it went back and forth. You got mixed signals. Yeah, Fayo's definitely going to have some heartburn after this battle. About some failures <laughs> on her part. Decisions. Decisions she's made. Yeah, Heart for pain. Sure. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Um, okay, well, in that case, let me, uh, let me bring you all over to the situation at hand. And... Um, I'm not going to punish y'all for this. What? Um, well, I, I, I was just gonna say I'm gonna I'm gonna mark which one that Halbjorn has like kind of like identified as the real one. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um. That's so that way it's it's yeah it's not like. Oh, I, I don't know. know. I'm still pointing at him even though oh. I'm totally invisible. Right oh, now. I remember. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just, uh, I, it would feel lame if I was like, and now you have to actually remember. Uh, now you must know. Yeah, put it together. But, okay. So, yeah, it's this one with the little target on it. That's the one that is, uh, that Hobbjorn has pointed out. Hobbjorn, you are currently invisible, um, which I'm sure you know, but I don't know if the others do. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And we are going to start at the top of round five Damn. with ironically the real papa zottle oh she is stand up <laughs> please stand up we are so um bad. so the real papa zottle is going to check some recharges here yeah, and- papa zottle is the real one move or attack yeah. this turn 
What, what did you say? <laughs> oh, you made a joke. You were making a joke. Yeah. Because yeah. he's about to do that. He's about to do it. You're right. Um, yeah. He, he's going to fly 60 feet down to the ground here. And um, with his giant crane wings, bring himself down to the ground. And when he does so, he lands and is going to use his multi-attack to make three domineering strikes. Um, two of these are going to be at Jin, and one of them is going to be at Fayil. Definitely uh, pull our master, get in front of me. You just can't be stepping up like that. Oh, sure, sure. Um, and yeah, that does hit, so he's going to take 11 big ones um, as you slash at him as he kind of enters your space. Um, um. And this first one, Jin, is for you. 21, I believe that hit. That, that does hit. And so you're going to take uh, 27 damage. Uh, and uh, So I'd mm -hmm. like to use my reaction. Okay. Let me make sure I still have it. Yeah, uncanny dodge. So you would say I can see this attack, yes? For sure, for sure. Okay, yeah. I think I looked it right. Okay, so yeah. I'll take Go ahead and uh, take half. Um, and it looks like Fayo, you're wanting to distracting strike it. Yeah, additional six damage. <laughs> the next attack roll can see. Target by an attack. Okay, okay. So someone else has this. Yeah, someone will have next hit on him besides me is advantage. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Excellent. Um, Jen, I also need a deck save from you for the domineering strike. Easy. This is yeah, right in your wheelhouse. Whoa. <laughs> 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 okay, okay, hold on, hold on. But, I'm gonna it, use one of my lucky. Wait, wait, wait. What, what are, it doesn't what have you your on? your thing, right? I thought you had a thing where, like, if you minimum ten, yeah, something like that. Talent? I think that it's only for ability checks. Ah, uh, you're I, you're exactly right. So I, I don't um, mind using a point of lucky on this. I have okay. I, it is, says I have five. Do I have five? I um, only three, but it's says... equal to your proficiency bonus. So yeah, no, you have five. Oh, they they changed that. That's a huge buff. Yeah. Can I, can, do I still get to choose to re-roll it at this point? I don't know if they changed. Um. That. Before you yeah. find out the thing, right? The result when you roll I thought it, it was it after. Change. So I'll I'll give it to you this time because it's new. Like they they did change Lucky quite a bit. Um. And it gives you advantage on a roll, so you have to use it proactively instead of reactively now. Mm. But I'll give you advantage on it because okay, thank you. A, a grace, a grace, lucky. I got to see. So I'll just uh, roll it again. Yeah, that you works. Can disadvantage on one against you. That's beautiful. Yeah, it is. There, they did add that though, where you can counteract lucky. I suppose. Yeah, you can lucky, lucky is pretty OP. So. Yeah, it was a little strong. Jesus. Um, but that does still fail. So you oh. do fall prone um, as you are struck by this giant beak. Um, prone, there you go. And it's going to uh, attack you with one more. Oh, it crit. Dun, dun, dun. And you're going to take uh, 37 damage as it strikes you in the thigh. Should I save my reaction? Hello. Oh no. Wait, does that really knock you unconscious? I believe it does. Got me. Wow. Did ah. you have 85 oh, health? Uh, I think I was. Already... He was already hurt by something. Yeah, but he, uh, no, no, it, it, no, it does say my max is 85, apparently. Yeah, his max is 85. That seems really low. His con is only 14. Really low. Yeah, we're level 15. Did my... Wait, wait, were you already that low? 
didn't even look like it. Um, he was partially, I mean, he was already hurt, but... Review the tapes from Jacob's <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think uh, we were monitoring. Okay! Um... And I already said that it's the last attack is for Fayil, so I'm gonna do that. Dang. A 19. No, I got my shield up, man. Flooding okay. shields is doing work. Nice. Um, okay, no worries. And yeah, the uh, the giant beak glances off the shield. And uh, Papa Zottle is, is then going to use its bonus action to magically teleport. You watch as the ethereal branches begin to surround Papa Zottle. And as it kind of closes in and tightens on him, he disappears. And... Uh, and teleports 60 feet away. Yeah. And he's going to teleport here. With his other bird buddies. It is this Papa Zottle's turn, who is going to uh, multi attack Aslos, just here, right in front of him. <laughs> uh, so he's going to give three. Domineering strike. One. <laughs> 32, Oof. that definitely hits. Yeah, that hits. Um, <laughs> so you'll take half that. Um, thanks to the totem. And another one. Oof. Yeah. Half of that, and one more. He's laying out some damage, right? Yeah. Yeah, they're pumping now. And uh, half of that. Oh, that half sounds real good. <laughs> <laughs> 34 and, uh, total damage, dude. He's beat me up bad. Yeah, he's, uh, he's doing it. And he's also going to teleport. Um, as the uh, planar branches surround him as well. And he disappears and teleports here. Mm. Mm. Jin, I need a um, death saving throw from you, and I no do believe. Go. Oh, <laughs> stand by. No, you don't. <laughs> because holding. I, I, it says I don't have any uses, but I know I do because I don't use it at all. Jin's unconscious saying this on the ground. No, no, no. <laughs> no, He's like you off the don't. <laughs> my, my uh, necklace starts glowing. Ooh. And it, hold on, it's, oh. hold on, hold on. Here, 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 here. My, my parapet of wind yeah. Wow. Oh. I knew. While but wearing this no. pendant, you stabilize whenever you're dying at the start of your turn. Amazing. Ooh. You so I stabilize. Uh, yeah, you are, uh, your periapt glows and uh, provides you health. You stabilize at one. Great. And it, you are oh, now conscious again. What Congratulations. Do, do I still get to take my turn or? Yes, I'm gonna say, <laughs> I'm gonna say yeah, because it's at the start of your turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, but, uh, uh, so I think I have some kind of healing potion. Let me check my bed. Potion of supreme healing. Wow. Ooh. Ooh. Huge. That's a big healing potion. Uh, uh, do you know how to roll that? I, I can manually do it, but is there not a, just a macro? Yeah, it right? looks like it's not programmed, so go ahead and manually do it. And it says whenever you roll hit die to regain hit points, double. In addition, whenever you roll a hit die, oh, so like for a short rest. Oh, hit die. Huge. And uh, yeah, you guzzle that thing down and you oh, are no longer geez. bloodied. <laughs> that wild. That's a great potion. Uh, Fire, which way did he go? And I point I point to this one. I'm pretty sure, right? I watched him yep. pop up over here. And I go, right there, shoot him and get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I'm going to... Hide or something. Uh, I am going to shoot him with the chromatic bow, and I okay. believe I get advantage on this because of Fail's thing, right? Um, didn't you put melee it? or not? 
to tell you the truth, but... What, what is your uh, condition for the prone hit you put on him? We'll get a d4 on damage if you hit him. Next attack. It says attack roll. Yeah, it doesn't say anything yep. about melee or anything. Yeah, yeah no, this good. will... Uh, as long as you use your movement to stand up, since you are currently yeah, prone. Yeah, I will use my movement to stand up. Okay, then, uh, then yeah, I'd say that you do have advantage. It tells me I don't have any charges for anything. <laughs> that's, uh, yeah, that's an ish. Okay, um, and Jacob's right, you do get an additional 1d4 because of the sacred uh, ground that Jaryu's put down. So just go and roll a d4 and we'll add it on top of that. Nice. nice. Maximum Beautiful. damage. Nice. Beautiful. Um, okay, hey, some... So that, that hits, right? to... well, wait, wait, you're not counting that as the damage, right? Because I think this counts as a sneak attack since I rolled with advantage. Yes. Yes, you're absolutely right. Go and roll your sneak attack damage Which... as well. Oh, How many dice? <laughs> Describe your kill. <laughs> <laughs> I forget. Is it 80 uh, right now? Or I think you can just roll it. Yeah, like that. Oh, I just pressed the button in my. Wow. Yeah, perfect. And uh, you strike this. Uh, you strike it right, kind of in the breast, um, as you get a sneak attack on this big bird. It's not chicken. Big bird. And does the bow itself do anything? Um, let's see. This is the third time that you've used it this um, this combat, right, yeah. so it'd be yellow. Like um, so let me roll a dex saving throw. Is he weak to electricity? Damn. Oh, yeah, you got that. <laughs> uh, yeah. You can roll 2d8 and it takes half. It, the arrowhead kind of sparkle, like crackles electricity as you shoot it forward. Um, and it just has a little, damage. just a little zap on the end of it, a little spicy. Shot. Yeah. Imagine critting though, right? Because you get to double that too. Yeah. You know? True. It, did, um, was it all of my movement or half my movement? I believe it's. Correct me if I'm wrong, Wake. I think it's all your movement. If you're in difficult terrain, I, I actually don't know. Just to get uh, unprone. I, I all your know. movement. I mean. I think it's all the movement. I think it's all. In that case, you can make an argument either way, right? Like, no, standing up, I just stood up. But if you're, it's hard walking. It's hard to stand up too. Right? Yeah, I'm gonna say it's all movement. Yep, I think you did want that to, that to be it for our enemies. Yeah, so, so <laughs> I think you did it to an enemy at one point, didn't? You? Or something, yeah, something like yeah. This. Um. Okay, Ventus, it is your turn. Um, I want to check something real fast. Please hold for a moment. Please hold. Okay, go ahead. Hold Yanni. All right. Hold Yanni. But you're good. <laughs> if, if I only have 55 fly speed, can I get up onto this thing with thunder? Yeah, for sure. Okay, I'll, I'll fly up onto this thing with thunder. Whoop. And then I will take... My javelin of lightning. I'm just gonna do a normal. Just throw it. Oh, oh that's asking me to use the ability. I'm there watching. I'm, and I'm just gonna shoot. <laughs> just gonna throw it at this Pabazal that everyone's Perfect. attacking. Um, are you using the lightning portion of it, or is it just a javelin? No, it's just a javelin attack. Okay. Cool. Um, yeah, that definitely hits it, and you watch as the javelin um, strikes it and does it, does it stick uh, and into it. Does it or is, is it like? Um, no, I'm going to say it, ju it just hits and then falls. Okay, okay. And then for my bonus action, I will just do a patient defense. Okay. And dodge, but I also get um, temporary hit points. I think the thing's not popping up. I don't know why it's not. Um, yeah, the the monk thing is awkward. I need to make a new a new thing, but I believe it's this heightened focus that you can click. Yeah, yeah. I, I, cl I clicked the the patient defense on that one, but it didn't it didn't go oh. for me. 
Mm. Um, patient defense, as long as you spend okay, a focus point. Right. Oh. I, think I, I think I did it. Oh, oh, uh, click it under heightened focus. Yeah, yeah, I, I did, but it, it doesn't pop up when under oh. when I click the heightened focus one. Lame. Yeah. Oh, you're right. It doesn't. Patient defense. It's okay. That's dumb. Um, okay, let's just read it then. Uh, when you expend a focus point to use patient defense, you gain a number of temporary hit points equal to two rolls of your martial arts die. I believe those are D10. Um, it says my hit die is a D8, but that might upgrade with... Uh, martial arts level. Martial arts die. Um, so that'll be different. And I'm checking the player's handbook real fast, but I believe for your level... Yes, it's a D10. So oh, two D10, cool. and you'll gain that as temporary hit points. Huge. Not so huge. <laughs> <laughs> Slightly less huge, but we still take uh, those. What's the take? I'm dodging still. It's medium. Still dodging. Not huge. All right, that's my that's my turn. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Jar, you, it's your turn. That's me. <laughs> that is you. Hey, uh, you? For one, he's he's going to step one step forward so that the aura of this is around. Boop. This Just in case that matters. Um. Just in case. Hey, David, what? Do we not have the boss bar anymore? Just curious. Sorry. Oh not yeah. Oh, oh. oh, I wonder which one it is. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I turned it off. Uh, but now that you have oh, it revealed, it's... Uh... Fair enough. Okay. Wow, wait, David. All right, what size are these guys? Now that we're like getting on them. Uh, these guys should be large. Okay. Yeah, yeah, they're all large. Uni gods. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> I wonder if I could like radiant action to where once Papa Zotto, the real one's about to attack, I ring the bell. <laughs> Just dip. Yeah. <laughs> Deli uh, stretches gain out a little bit, but it'd be awesome too. It could work. Yeah. It'd be crazy. I think he's just gonna cure As soon as this Papa's on his turn, I ring the bell. It doesn't mind if you just cast all his big spells. Alright, let's do this. I'm getting rid of the other yeah. aura. Okay. The uh, kind of holy light underneath you begins to fade. Oh, dang! And a oh. new one appears. <laughs> holy, yeah, the what holy, the uh, fuck? We. The whole oh, wow. light goes away, and then now, like, a green, a new green one starts pulsating out. Like, Sona and the Eclipse. Very cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, when you create an aura, I start with your turn. At the start of the six. It's one creature. Alright, well. That's cool. At the start Very nice. Of the next turn, I can heal somebody. Hell yeah. Aura. I'll uh, I'll re-reveal it at the start of your next turn, so you can see who's in it. Okay, very good, very cool. Um, at That's the cool. end very of legal. very legal, very cool. At the end of Jaru's turn, um, this Papazato is going to take two legendary actions. Um, the first is Long Strider. It's going to fly about thirty feet here, and is then going to use another legendary action 
to open its wings in an intimidating fashion and trigger do not bow and i need any creature that can see him to roll me a charisma saving throw again again wow man uh, so everyone in jar U's space right here does not even <sighs> they can't again, Let's go! Oh, oh. I needed that. Well, I rolled it anyways. And That's true, because I rolled it again, dude. I'm, I'm doing uh, charisma <laughs> and animal handling. Uh, you like rolled constitution. Here. My bad. No, I have, a minus eight. I, have a minus, I have an eight minus one. So. Oh, you have minus charisma? one? Oh, oh, yeah. okay. I'm a Hello. professor, man. Come on. Okay, I'm Roll the least speed. wise. <laughs> Dude, I wear a toe oh necklace. Okay, uh, Thunder, you and um, uh, Halbjorn become feared of this uh, avatar of Papa Zottle. Which, honestly, especially... One? Yeah. Understandable. Yeah, I thought we are in his zone. Oh, not his zone? You're not. It's just his zone is this. Oh, I thought you were talking about the big one. Sorry, no, the little one. Just, uh, just near... Jar used Which, protective present. By the way, he does have an aura that prevents being frightened. That's 30 feet. Damn it! I picked the wrong one. <laughs> Damn it! He's up, he's up, up, he's up How, dang it. How could you have known? It, it um, frightened, oh, wait. charmed, blind, deafened, poisoned, paralyzed, or stunned. You cannot have any of those within 30 feet. It's crazy. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> that is crazy. A lot. Oh. Um, while wearing this armor, you gain plus one bonus to AC. You have advantage on saving throws against frightful presence of a dragon. Lamp. Of a dragon. Of a dragon. I think this is the dragon in front of me. Halbert, make it look like a dragon. <laughs> fine print. <laughs> um, also, this Papa Zottle is also going to use its uh, long strider and move here. No, he didn't. And uh, uh -huh. and is going to use its reaction to use planar tendrils on uh, on Aslos. Oh, shit, son. Okay. And so Aslos, <laughs> you uh, you can kind of see and um, and feel the tendrils begin to wrap around you, and you kind of open your arms to uh, to break them break them out. Okay. Fuck yeah. And now, now you can go. Um. Hmm. Eight Papa Zottle. Manny. H word. Fine. No. So... Fine. I don't care for I'm him. Figure one out bit. what I want to do. <laughs> that's uh, that's totally acceptable. Not even one. I'm gonna like. Move in on the real one. Oh well, Hold on, I gotta get around this. I gotta go around here. I'm gonna be able to move to like right there. Yeah. You Wait, dash. do I have 45? No, I have a lot of. I have 45 speed. So. Uh, don't forget, it's difficult terrain. Oh, well, I'm flying though, right? Oh yeah! He's obviously flying. I He's a flying. Flying. You have wings. <laughs> oh, goodness, I totally forgot. The air is also <laughs> difficult too. You fly. It's amazing. It's amazing. I was almost uh -huh. confused. A Goliath is flying. A cat is flying. Yeah, I don't like, think I'm ever gonna be is flying. I don't think I'm ever gonna be able to say that flying. again. So, uh, I'm gonna aim at the real Papa Zottle. I'm gonna throw. Okay. Um, I'm gonna take a double throw. It's a good old Liss hammer. Okay. Give him the one, two. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck him up. The one. And uh, you watch as the leash hammer flies out in kind of a, a glowing radiant and strikes Papa's auto right, right on the wing, and you can almost hear a crunch of the bone as it comes flying back to you, and uh, and you grab it. That's the crit damage, right? That did it right, right? Yes, yeah. That's you, right. Don't yeah. you don't have to hit the button. Uh, no, I think it. I believe it automatically does. It does oh, critical yes. hit there. Cool. All right, I will. Uh, I'm gonna catch and I'm gonna just throw again. Okay. Sure. 
Getting in. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Go. Oh. Yeah. yeah. And then, yeah, I'll kind of fly like a little bit like closer. That'll be the last of my movement. And then, yeah, that'll be my turn. Okay. And Hobbjorn, it's your turn. Hobbjorn's gonna be like, surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> they cast vitriolic <laughs> sphere. Oh, wait. Yeah, okay, they're not clay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> this is it right here. This is it right here, but come on. Come on. And I'm upcasting it. Boom. He appears. And uh, you lob out a giant spear of, of acid <laughs> that, that kind of blobs out and splashes, <laughs> hits the stone oh. as it begins to hit. <laughs> what up? <Nothing. laughs> you can hit me, that's okay. Oh. <laughs> I, I take like that. half damage of everything, so. Unless and, it's psychic, uh, and I'm gonna be upset. Save. Oh. oh man, baby. And uh, I like, I, I want to imagine in this moment, um, you watch Halbjorn as Azos' first hammer strike flies out and critically strikes him. Oh, and yeah. you take advantage of that moment to catch him off guard as you appear from invisibility, lobbing out your vitriolic spear. Enabling him to, uh, unable to dodge it whatsoever. Um, as you splash him all down his wing on his right side. Oh. And, um, as you do so. You Woo. watch as the acid begins to kind of burn down the wing of this crane. And when this happens... Papa Zottle kind of turns his attention to look at you and then the others around you. And as this happens, the the duplicates, the tricksters of Papa Zottle begin to fade away. And you are left only with the true Papa Zottle. No longer and feared. You're, that is true. You are like no longer thing, feared. There's like a mm -hmm. behind, behind Aslo's shot as he hits him with the release hammer. And then it just camera zooms behind Papa Zottle, and then for off the distance a dwarf pops up, and the green blob. Comes, <laughs> and then the camera pans to behind Halbjorn as the blob just goes like all over <laughs> the avatar and everything. It's like a cool like little triple camera action. The, the cinematic. Hell camera. yeah! Is it not over yet? <laughs> no. Papa Zottle does Base not three. die. Papa Zottle simply stops and flies down to the uh, the marsh below it. And I think that the group of you would just kind of be able to intuit that Papa Zottle is not threatening you. Papa Zottle has kind of wrote, risen his white flag as he lands on the ground. Finish him. And um, <laughs> as he towers over the group of you, he takes a couple steps forward, like a crane might, kind of slowly and, 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 and thoughtfully, as his head kind of bobs. And I want for you, Aslos, to roll me a perception check as this happened. I imagine while he's doing this, I'm kind of like landing myself. Like Sure, I'm sure. Like... Yeah, and I don't know a better way to explain this. Um... Except for the fact that you, you, I think the group of you would just, like I said, you would just be able to kind of feel or intuit that like this, this combat is over. That Papa Zottle, maybe in a way you would be able to sense that Papa Zottle never even truly thought to kill you. Yeah. I saw Jim fall down, so I step in front of him, and I'm still like kind of holding forward a little bit, at least. Well, he did kill me, so <laughs> yeah. he, uh, he, he knocked and you that's unconscious, like blow, and that was awesome. Uh, he also, did kill me, so it doesn't tell me how long this aura of vitality lasts. Can I just start healing people every now and again? <laughs> And um, I think that even the the group of y'all would see kind of several things happening at once. 
Um, Papa Zotto kind of opens his wings, and as he does so, the group of you would be able to see kind of appearing out of the nothingness like he had done many times this battle. Almost like it, they're sprouting like saplings from the air. Small branches beginning to appear around each of you. And when they do so, you can even see small leaves kind of beginning to grow out of them. It, I think it would feel like a pure sense of life and vitality as ethereal blooms are appearing on the branches around you. And whenever they begin to kind of touch and rub against your skin as they connect with you, you slowly are beginning to heal. And Papazotl is as well. You can see that the magic of these branches are kind of beginning to seal your cut and um and remove the aches from your muscles it's like a slow heal over time and as i, was, I would like for you to roll me another perception check as this is happening do i gain back my temp my max hp <laughs> uh, uh, yeah but give me a moment <laughs> um with these perception checks as you're noticing a couple things the bear <laughs> in the back of the room is slowly moving towards you yeah i feel like i would have noticed slowly. that but whatever happens next i'm less in tune to <laughs> <laughs> and yeah that that you notice you kind of look behind you and you can see the bear not like stalking you but just kind of carefully moving forward um and what you're not noticing is that around your ankles more and more branches are beginning to kind of sprout up you haven't tried to move yet so you wouldn't notice that if you tried to right now, you would not be able to move. Um, but unfortunately, this is lost to you right now. <laughs> I feel like I'm just watching the bear the whole time. Like I feel like sure. I have all this going around me, and I'm just full eyes on the bear. And it just slowly is moving closer. And Papa Zottle, in the meantime, speaks out to all of you. Um, and... Went, um, who left? We lost in game. Way go. Oh, oh, okay. I never uh, left. In, in, in never your left. mind, you would hear the voice of Papa Zottle speak almost softly to you. You did not bow. I did. I nod. And the giant crane looming over the group of you, probably a 20 foot tall crane. No, I, I'm flying his head height. I, I don't want yeah, him to. Yeah, I'm, I'm flying. I'm flying slightly I'm flying, above him. Aren't we at one foot above him? <laughs> and uh, as he says this, it kind of reverberates in all of your minds. And he follows up his statement You are worthy of my attention. Oh. Why are you here? I know it's Jen. We're here because we need your help. You have proven yourselves capable. What do you need my help with? And I want I want Jen or any, I want anyone who is proficient in insight to roll me a check. I have disadvantage. <laughs> Since we're in the cat. Oh wait, that's insight. Oh, oh not intelligence. <laughs> no, <just kidding. laughs> JK. Um, Jar, you, Jen, and um, all of you actually would be able to see that as Papa Zottle asks this question, the way that he's kind of looking, his body language and the way that he asks this, it almost sounds as though he is kind of not testing you, but is, is kind of fishing for an answer almost, if that makes sense. Like he, he's kind of waiting to see how you respond to this question. It's not it's not an innocent question, I guess is what I'm getting at. And what's the question? Um, what do you need his help with? You seem you seem capable, oh, right, right, so sorry. why? Um Well, we we need all the Elder Gods help. We've been traveling through 
the lands. And uh, we met a village nearby that uh, had some followers of yours, I think. Rain God just continues to look at you thoughtfully. I look over to Jaryu. Help me out here. Or, I'm sorry, uh, Halbjorn. <laughs> uh, what? What? I, I mean, the thing, we talked we talk to the... Yeah, if I was the guy, she told, got this. He you told have us not to told talk. me what you need my help we're with. Trying to fight the, we're trying to fight the Yanti, right? And we know that... The, we talked to that big gone. snake. Huh? That big snake to told us about the El the trickster gods. Yeah, what was his name? It was the old temple. Yeah, we're seeking oh, help no. from the trickster gods because we are trying to find the Wanti's totemic animal, and we were told that you could provide us information that could help us in our journey on that. Yeah, maybe it help us too, right? That was the whole idea. Is that? And when you say this. Papa Zoddle kind of has a, a twinkle in his eye. I was told many millennia ago such a group might come to me. And if they did, I was to provide them with two things. And Papa Zottle kind of opens his wings in a magical manner. Aslos, while all this conversation is happening, the bear is almost to you, slowly making its way through the marsh. Yeah, and I feel you like I'm just to... not listening. I'm just watching the bear. And you would be able to kind of notice at this point that the branches are almost all the way up your thighs at this point. Um, you're kind of encased in them, trapped in them. But it oh, wouldn't be like until I'd now that you would know. That. I'm like staring still straight out. Like maybe I f partially feel it, like it's a scratch or something. But like, you know, I'm like, I'm just looking dead on. Like, because I imagine that, uh, my eyes are glowing a little bit too. Sure. Anyone that is uh, proficient in perception can go ahead and make a perception roll for me. Hobdorn, in the middle of this conversation, you um, you and Jar, you would both notice the 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 branches that are on the group of you healing you are kind of still at a distance, but around you, almost kind of like a like a shell of sorts, kind of right. Whereas on Aslos, they are wrapping around him, um, restraining him, and it's about this point you would notice what the branches are doing to him. These ethereal kind of almost like blue shining branches. The same kind of blue light that you can kind of see in this map with like the bear and the papazotl. It's the same with these branches. You can almost kind of see through them. Um, they're almost made of like a ghostly light. And you would notice at this point that he is um, ensnared in them as they're continuing to go up his body. And... Papa Zottel opens his wings and kind of magically um, summons two things. One is very impressive looking. It is a beautifully crafted helmet. It is made out of the feathers of the Ebris and has a an angular, almost hawk-like appearance to it. It's aggressive looking with a large kind of beak like structure that folds down over the eye. And um, you can see on the back of it written in their language, the Oran language, Ventus, that the ancient bird language that you can read, it simply says the words, do not bow. And he places it here on the fountain in front of the group of you. Bing, right there. And um, he speaks out in Oren to you, Ventus. You. I just you. stare at him. You are a creature of my kin. And this is for you. 
Next to the helmet, he summons something that looks much less impressive. It looks to be like a stone tablet, almost a perfect square of sorts. You can see that it has a symbol carved on its face. But I hate puzzles. And I go, I go, <laughs> I go, I go, I go to like look at it, I guess. Yeah. And, uh, runically, like it, it definitely has a rune on it. Um, but Ventus, you would be unable to think. Let me check what languages you speak. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> old is it sign language by chance because I have that one <laughs> it is uh, sadly it is not yeah no Ventus you would not be able to make out the rune on this um, on this tablet but as you kind of grab it and examine it um, is Papa it the size of a tablet I keep thinking like an iPad when you say yeah, that yeah yeah you say it's about that size <laughs> okay um <laughs> Papa Zottle kind of sees you looking at it and says, I was told to give this to those that wish to end the Wanty. That is my gift to you. I, I just stare blankly at the, <laughs> the tablet. <laughs> but, thank you, Papa Zottle. I, I think he's just a real trickster now. I think he's just messing with me. <laughs> Can you help me get off this pedestal? <laughs> uh, yeah, I can. <laughs> you just feather fall off. It's a wall. Well, I can fly now. There you go. <clears throat> so we got a tablet thingy and a helmet. Yeah. Does anyone recognize this rune? And I just like show it to everyone. As a dwarf, would I recognize this? Rune? I've never seen it before in my life. Um, it's the Apple only, logo. <laughs> only, only one of you would be able to read the language inscribed on this rune. And actually, Jin, it would be you. It takes you a moment. But this rune, that? it's written in Thieves' Camp. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, I recognize that shit. <laughs> I, ha I hand the tablet to, to Jin. I said, okay, here you go. And Jen, I think that you would find this odd for several reasons. One, the fact that it's written in Thieves' Camp. Um, that's odd. Two, it's a pretty modern Thieves' Camp. It's not like you're trying to read Old English. Um, it's quite modern. Um, it's it's easy for you to read because it's, it's only depicting... Uh, it just depicts a letter. A single letter. It's a... It's a tablet that has, in Thieves' Cat, the letter E carved into it. E. I say left. That's all it says. E. What, and then I look, I look to Papa Zotto. What does it mean? And Papa Zotto looks down to you. I don't know. I'm I was betting simply we're going to get uh, a couple of tablets like this that have different letters. If I were to take a Gaius. Yeah, yes. Okay, yes. List likes Gilbert. Okay, Zotto, is there any is there any other of you elder gods like close by? Like, where's the in this area? Sadly, after my death, I know not of what happens in your material world. I cannot You're leave dead. this tomb. And Papa Zotto looks to you, Thunder. He turns his giant crane head. What? You're dead? Well, of course. This is why we have to go to this plane. To experience one another. Damn, I feel bad now that I've been fighting, like... A dead guy. A spirit that's been trying to, like, live in peace. Like, after death. And uh, Papa Zotto shakes his giant head. Do not feel guilt. I've tested you. Any other that would come to me would bow. But you did not bow. 
No, no sir. Oh, we ain't bound. I don't know if you saw. I rolled for a cast Goodberry. I was offering him some earlier. <laughs> <laughs> I did miss that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Had your hand open with good berries in it this yeah. whole time. And uh, as you cast good berry and kind of open them, Papa Zala doesn't take any, but you hear and can see up on the platform with you maybe three or four chinguas that appear. Ah, oh, yeah, boy. Ooh. And they you kind of look around your. Guys? Here, you do. For the first yeah. time, the group of you see the chinguas oh. here in the, eth I saw them in in the dream. ethereal plane. I saw them dream. But yeah, right. look at that. Uh, and they kind of stand around your ankles, Thunder, as you procure the good berries. Yeah, I... Uh, how many are there? Chinguas? Yeah. Uh, maybe three. Okay, yeah, I, I give each one and hold on to the, the other seven. Um, I do ask Papa Zotto, I pull out the map that we were... Um, art that we were drawing... And I asked, do you have any idea? I know you said that you don't really track anything in the material plane once you pass, but you might have heard of this. But I asked, do you know about the spider that's waiting for someone? By any chance? And Papa Zotto looks at you calmly, like thoughtfully. He's not trying to antagonize you. I have no idea. My life occurred millennia ago alright so the spiders knew appreciate it puppy what <laughs> my nickname for you is puppy puppy don't talk to me and uh Z. for those of you that passed your perception checks earlier with Aslos Aslos you would find yourself almost completely encased in branches at this point. <laughs> do, do we notice that on Aslos, or, or is this just an Aslos? No, no, you, the group of you definitely would notice. Um, <laughs> we just don't care. You're now kind of up to your chest in, in tree branches, and, and the bear is almost touching you at this point. You're kind of looking into the soul of this bear. Do or we see so. the bear also? No. Okay. Papa Zotto, is Aslos okay? What, what are you doing <laughs> to him? And uh, Papa Zotto turns <laughs> his, his giant green head to look at Aslos. And he says to you, He is leaving. Uh, Wait, what? Leaving? He is leaving. So where? And he looks at Aslos again. I do not know. And I'm like dead, still staring at the bear. I imagine <laughs> like if people paid enough attention, my eyes are just getting like more and more blue. And you would see as those at the runes, the not even the runes, the tribal markings on this bear are glowing blue as well. And it raises itself to its hind legs and uh, kind of looms over you slightly. And in one fluid motion, it opens one of its giant bear paws, raises it, like kind of winds back, and strikes you as hard as it can. And when it does so, you um, your vision falters slightly for a moment. And the group of you watch as the kind of the branch casing that surrounded Aslos shatters into pieces of timber and splinters and wood and goes everywhere and where Aslos stood he is now gone oh. Aslos wait what uh, like a Papa Zotto, like uh kind of angry and worried and like getting ready to fight him again what did you do and Papa Zotto shakes his his head well I did nothing this was not my doing Yo, Thunder, you should get us out of this realm. Hey, Papa Zotto, I think you should tell your Ebris that they should move back in and, like, restore your temple and shit. And Papa Zotto, <laughs> <laughs> maybe in a comedic moment, for the first time since y'all have, like, ended combat, he kind of bristles his feathers 
and looks alarmed at you and snaps his beak and says, They have stopped? Yeah, they're living yeah, by they a got river. they overtaken by the Wanti, and there's basically like a small little cell of Ibris left in the little village. We might have hooked and, him up, though, by... Oh, yeah, from and... The, and the uh, a fucking cloud giant, some this bitch-ass cloud Middle giant... Middle finger. Stole... Yeah, he's running with you. He stole the artifact that allowed them to access her temples. Like, they can't even get in. He's still running around, by the way. We kicked his ass. I mean, he's still alive, but we kicked his ass and took it. Middle finger. Yeah. He, uh... Papa Zoddle takes a moment to kind of take all of this information in, and he reaches over to his wing and begins to preen his feathers. And what appears to be, almost maybe to you a little dismissive, is... After a few moments of preening, he pulls out a large primary feather from his wing and places it at the base of the fountain. This feather is probably like a good like three feet long. Um, I, I, as I he get places up like a it sword. down, <laughs> and he uh, he kind of nods slightly, making sure not to bend his knees to even be even perceptibly look like he's bowing, and he says. <laughs> <laughs> he says, breaks his knees for helping my people. Okay, and I nod uh, my head. I pick up the giant feather. One last and question: Is it seen as weakness if I give him like a respectful bow? <laughs> you gotta do it. Well, meet bow. eyes with him, like, and I'm not bowing is a mission, but like I'm bowing in like respect. <laughs> it's like, a maybe. nod. <laughs> yeah, you gotta do a nod. <laughs> But is that bowing your head? <sighs> no, you gotta nod up. Oh. Yeah, I'll give him like the up nod, but like, thanks. Yeah. Thanks, Papa. And uh and he kind of clicks his beak back at you. My last question for you, puppy, is why is it that the <laughs> world awesome. tree hurts my head? <laughs> The, uh, Papa Zotto kind of, like a bird would do, kind of cocks his head at you as he tries to understand your question. And When I was in this realm, I tried to communicate, and it hurt he sh- me. He shakes his head and says, Well, because you only have one head. Yeah, I got him. He doesn't even have two heads. <laughs> I look. I look down between my legs. What? <laughs> I have two. And uh, Papa Zotto, enc- <laughs> dumb. Papa Zotto <laughs> encourages you to uh, to think about what he said. <laughs> I guess I'll. I look around. And I'm preparing to ring the bell. Okay. And I ring it. And the uh, the group of you return to the material plane. And. Uh, that's where I want to end things tonight. We're going to figure out where Athos went on his little adventure next time. Where did he I go? I hope so. We're going to and start we're going to with him. talk to the Ivries and tell them the quit being bitches and go back in their time. Yeah, do we? I, yeah. <laughs> yeah we just like literally kicked the God's part. ass, so. <laughs> hey, another one. Kick your God's ass. Stop being bitches. Go back in there. <laughs> Take it and back. The, the auntie won't mess with you anymore. Maybe you worshiping so. him. That's funny. Uh, David, one last thing I want to do. Uh huh. Before the session ends, I, I kind of perceive this room as like his resting place. So mm-hmm. I want to actually bury the remaining seven good berries because if you couldn't have them in the material plane, my thought process is like if I bury these like almost in a uh, a ritual like fashion, that he will get them on his plane. And Thunder, this is actually important. I want you to remember this, okay? You die. Are you paying attention? Yes, I'm looking right at you. The good berries that you procured in the ethereal plane, you kind of look to your hand and you can see that they are just as pristine and beautiful as they were when you created them in the ethereal plane as they are now in the material plane. So they look like... What do you mean by that? It's not like some of the other things that seem to disappear between the planes. Mm -hmm. You created them in the ethereal plane, but they came with you to the material Mm. And standing at your ankles still are the Chinguas that are looking up at you and ringing their bells. But for everyone else, the Chinguas have now disappeared. 
and are only visible to you. Interesting. But do I still I still want to bury them? Because in my in my mind. Sure, sure, yeah, you can still do that, but yeah, but interesting. But yes, interesting. Okay, and um, and yeah, that's where we're going to. Uh, that's where we're going to call it. Bum, bum, boom. Awesome. Dun dun dun. Yes. Yeah. Much, yeah. much, yeah. much, yeah. much exciting. Wait <laughs> till Andrew actually gets back. Hey, we actually uh, lost Aslos, uh, but we killed the god. <laughs> yeah. We uh, we lost him. <laughs> oh, one last thing, Jin. I don't know if you saw. I, I cast uh, Massacre Wounds towards the end, so you should get forty-one health. We all got healed, anyways. <laughs> from okay, whatever. Bottle. Whatever. God. Oh. Uh, one last thing before before we end. I forgot. Um, a couple of you, I think I've already begun to reach out to about something like this. But it should be noted that this dungeon was uh, not designed by me, but was actually designed by ours truly, Jacob. Oh, see? Ah, nice. So Whoa. give him Good, some Jacob. snaps. Beautiful. For a, for a great, for a great little dungeon. I don't really yeah, snap. shoot, the mics, the mics won't pick it up. But Whoa. <laughs> good snap. <laughs> nice. But I did actually not know the the answer to the puzzle in the water. So like I came up with the concept of it and then David actually made the puzzle, so like I didn't know the yeah, answer. That's true. And so that was actually <laughs> genuinely like, oh fuck, wait. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. He didn't know the answers necessarily to any of the things. Um but the uh You almost killed us then, Jacob. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I was like, well, oh, no, he did. He killed you, did. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. Yeah, because so, yeah, I, I think yeah. the flooding, the, specifically the flooding thing was like, that's the punishment for getting it wrong. I remember saying thing that. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, I'll take that. That's fine. <laughs> well, works for me. It's uh, funny. But yeah, no, uh, uh, great job. Great job. Oh, I'll, we also loot the whatever we can loot from. Yeah, yeah, I'll get y'all some loot and make up the uh, the helmet and the feather and whatnot. Do we know tablet? what the helmet does? Yeah. <laughs> so, no, and I can elaborate on it this time, but I'm designing each of these trickster god encounters to kind of be geared toward a certain player to shine. This one was clearly the one for Ventus as he could have avoided pretty much every obstacle Everything. that we're put against. Uh, but that's by design, because these are big flying people, so the flying person should be really good mm -hmm. at it. Um, so this item is going to be built specifically for Ventus. Um, and each of y'all are going to have a... a they're not, they're not going to be dungeons like this. This was specifically for Papa Zottle, but an encounter that, um, that favors your your character so that everyone has the time to shine oh yeah Ooh. well little did you I know did. i'd start flying and, uh, <laughs> yeah that one uh i like that everyone started flying that was pretty funny um but show sure, fuck you vantage <laughs> hey everyone could be special <laughs> get, get a way to fly and then we'll all be good and we'll all be uh, good he wasn't flying was he not in this Not dungeon, yet. but I've done it before. But he also has like cool ropes of climbing things he can do. And... Yeah. Yes. I, true, there's true. part of file needs Jen to like let's like talk about this rope. Like, can that help me somehow too? Like, can you set it up as <laughs> a ladder for both of us? You know, like what, what's going on? <laughs> and I use a scroll of flying, and I think the one before this one when we were in the yeah, yeah true, you know, true. Fly. But uh, what flying? All flying, flying, dude. Alrighty, I'm gonna have some dinner, but I will. Uh, I will talk to y'all guys, guys later. Peace out, y'all. Good night. Peace out, y'all. Bye. Bye.